Hello everyone, today I have a very exciting announcement to make. Neo Warfare has finally, um, well, the devs have finally uploaded the Falklands update. The Falklands is, uh, the Falklands update is an update, uh, related to the Falklands War. The Falklands War was a, uh, <clears throat> An invasion carried out to boost political approval among the Argentinian people with its government. The invasion would be known as Operation Rosario. Now, Argentina's president at the time, Leopoldo Gualteri, assumed that Britain would not retaliate over such a small cluster of uh, islands. And uh, as we probably all know, uh, that did not happen. They clearly retaliated. And they formed one of the biggest task forces in British history since World War II, containing of 21 Harrier jump jets, armada of destroyers, frigates, aircraft carriers, submarines, and requisitioned Martian ships. A fleet of helicopters, ground vehicles, and over 250 soldiers sailed 8,000 miles to fight the war practically on the enemy's doorstep. And it only lasted 74 days. Now, it doesn't sound very cool but what is very cool is the vehicles they added and as you can see they added harriers not only two more harriers they added four more harriers if i'm correct this one i think i already had this is a, they got a remodel so they added three more harriers this one got a remodel this one is new uh and both of these are new these are the earlier variants of the Harrier. Uh, obviously, they're not g uh, as great compared to the AV-8B. Uh, and a lot of other cooler stuff was, first of all, uh, wait, no, uh, Israel IAI Dagger, which is basically a uh, Mirage. And if you don't know, mirages are mirage, mirage, mirages, whatever, uh, are very good, mainly because their cannon is awesome, and uh, they just look good, honestly. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Now, uh, apart from that, they also added a couple of ships, when I'm, which I'm not going to really go over, because uh, this is fo um, this channel is mainly focused around aircraft, but ground vehicles we can do that maybe. Uh, here in attack, we have uh, Argentina, which has the Pucara, which is a turboprop uh, light attack vehicle, uh, aircraft, uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, it has okay weapons. I mean, it's not the best. Hydras. Well, it has really good bombs, though, but it has no anti-air or air-to-ground missiles or anything like that. They have Hydra rocket pods, which are okay. I mean, they're not guided like the APKWS, but still. Now, we have one of my favorite aircraft to come out of this update, the Attendard. Is that how you say it? The Salt Brigade Super Attendard. Whatever. Attendard. Um... And it's a really, really cool aircraft, in my opinion. Can have uh, it can do a buddy refueling, which is really cool. I, it's not working now, but they're gonna fix it. Uh, there's a targeting pod, uh, rocket pod, missile launcher, and a new guide, uh, mouse guided missile, which is the Pescador, which is really good. Well, if you like mouse trackers, because they're all subsonic right now. If I'm if I'm correct. They have the Exocet, which is a really good anti-ship missile. They have to buff it a little bit, though. I don't know what this one does. It, I think it just... Oh, it's mouse tracking. All right, yeah. Mouse tracking is really good. This one is, like, considerably better than the Pescador. Has a bigger uh, warhead mass and top speed. So, whenever you can, uh, use the AS-30 if you're going to do mouse tracking. Right here, I'd recommend, like, uh, Magics, which are anti-air missiles. And, or alternatively, um, you could do a very common uh, loadout in the Attendard, which is, like, uh, it's gonna, if you have OCD, this is gonna suck. But you put a missile here, and then a fuel uh, tank right here. 
Now, that, that looks absolutely horrible, but if you search up images of the Ntendarn with actual weapons, that's actually how they do it. And, yeah, it sucks. Well, for people that have, like, a nitpick to that, but... They also added some tanks, such as the uh, FV-101 Scorpion and the Scimitar, which are... Um, the Scimitar is just a variant of the Scorpion, uh, which has a bigger cannon, I think. No, a smaller cannon. This one is just like bullpup or something. Uh, yeah, it's smaller, but it's 75 millimeters. Uh, and um, let's see. On the scimitar, it's longer, but it's 30 millimeters. And this has a fire rate like the Bradley. And FYI, the Bradley is really good, at least in Neo. And so will this be. <clears throat> All right, now. Let me show you. Uh, it, there's some unlock, uh, some new unlockables in uh, here, which is the AAV7 camo. Same thing for the Argentinian one. AA, what? But this one's the LVPT7 camo. Now here we have actual things in transport. Before we didn't even have anything. So now we have the LVTP. PT-7, which is a armored personnel carrier, and they, um, I, I don't really know the difference between these two, they look pretty similar, I'll have to google that later, anyways, um, now, one of my favorite aircraft to come out of this update is the Harrier GR-1, mainly because I am a big, uh, fanboy of Harriers, really big fanboy, is like one of my not femboy, okay? Don't go commenting that. Fan boy. As in, like, I enjoy this aircraft. Okay? Thank you. Now, it, uh, my main loadout is putting, like, a missile launcher right here with uh, AIM-9. And the same thing to the other side. Right here. Gray, uh, no. Uh, white fuel tank. Uh, missile launcher. AIM-9. Uh, right here, if I'm doing, like, air-to-ground, maybe, sometimes I put, like, a 500-pound bomb, uh, a 1,000-pound bomb. Um, they fixed the nozzles on these ones. These aren't broken. Um, and it's really awesome. Let me just show you guys. Of course, it's going to be at night because Neo Warfare is always at night. It's, like, a universal thing. Yeah, see, it kind of sucks to look at uh, to it out like that, right? You can't really see stuff. They also added the Canberra, which is like uh, that uh, bomber. Um, it's kind of weird looking. Don't use it yet because if you use it, you're gonna get like soft locked and you'll have to leave the game and join back in because like it just disables your controls for some reason. They're f working on fixing that. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you change modes to taxi yeah that's gonna happen don't do that so you mainly want to keep doing this oh no Ooh. oh yeah there's a new damage model as well i'll try to see if i can figure that out today but here uh v v2 all controls are uh as normal r f uh right here the insides of it look like a lot better than like previous models like it's just uh, a little thing i appreciate um, let's see here. Uh, if you press Y, that's your air brake. Um, M doesn't do anything, and neither does N. But, now I want to go show you guys, uh, uh, the dagger. And, look, if you are looking for a good fighter, the dagger is one of a very good fighters. Uh, what I do is external tank here. And then uh, the magics right here. Now the rocket pods, uh, I mean, they kind of need to fix that, don't they? Yeah, that's kind of broken. Hopefully they fix that. Anyways, um, these things can kind of be OP if you do like a head-on. But, eh, it's not really recommended because it's not the best. So, magics here. Now, one thing you need to do is that um, <clears throat> with uh, the dagger, you really want to rely with your guns. 
because the guns are really good and the missiles are really bad. <laughs> so you might want to keep using your guns more often. Now this is basically a Mirage. It's basically a Mirage 5, if I'm, uh, I'm aware. But it's produced by the Israelis. I think it's produced. I don't know if it's just modified or something. Afterburner. Very nice. Now, uh, it can get... Uh, let's see. T will activate the air brakes. Um, let's see what else. Y doesn't do anything. Neither does M or N. Alright, yeah. That's the dagger. Now, I want to show you another... Uh, another really cool vehicle that got added. That being the Sea Harrier F uh, FA2. Now, the FA2 is like a more modern variant. It's more recent. Now, what I what the loadout I recommend is going uh, Aiden 30mm gun pods. Those things rock. They're awesome. Then, you want to go... Uh, if you want to go anti-ship, uh, use the Sea Eagle... Uh, if you want to do anti-ground, use the Martel. Uh, now, if you want to do a uh, anti-air, I recommend getting fuel tanks and then a uh, missile uh, missile launcher. Uh, this one, which is the L A L A U dash one one five C A, which will allow you to get two AIM-120s, which, by the way, is awesome for a Harrier. You get four AIM-120s, two really good guns, and extra range. And uh, if you watch my previous video on how it's, um, how Harriers like are one of the best dogfighters, you know this is like really good. It's really good, trust me. Now, go right here. And first of all, um, it kind of looks weird, yeah. I personally don't like the nose. It, it kind of looks off because it gets shorter and then wider. Kind of doesn't seem that aerodynamic. Uh, I mean, the cockpit is eh. But this thing can do very awesome things. Mainly, uh, one thing I really like to do Oh, crap, that guy's firing on me. Hold on. All right, so, uh, fun little fact. The Harrier is known to be one of the fastest accelerating aircraft in the world. Search that up. It's true. Well, at least from what I've heard. And I think that guy's firing on me. But if my theory is to be proven correct, I should be able to accelerate fast. Well, not... Uh, obviously, Neil, they haven't implemented that. Maybe they will eventually. I would should... Uh, oh, God. Ooh. I missed that by just a little bit. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I guess we're going to do an anti-ship mis mission. Hold on. All right. I'll cut back to you guys once I get my missiles out, and that guy is going to get it. Yeah. I'm a cool guy. I'm menacing. I hate my life. All right, I got my anti-ships, and that guy is going to get it. Now, check this out. This is a really cool feature in the Harrier. Since it can hover, can hover, you can basically do this. Check this out. Now, let me see what that guy is. All right, he's a cruiser, a battle cruiser. Now, check this out. I have my sea eagle selected. And this is what the Harrier can do. Now let's get out of here. Now while those things are on their way. Let's see. Come on. Ooh. Let's see the damage. Yeah, so you don't want to use your Harriers against ships. FYI. Just saying. Because of obvious reasons. Now, I am royally ducked, and I will die. How awesome is that? Yeah, guys, just just use the attendards. They can do this much better than I can. Or 
the Harrier can. It's not really a skill issue at this point. It's more of a the technology issue. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn off hover. Now, um, I don't know why I can't get my sound working, uh, to get on recording, but this things, these things are loud, really loud. So whenever you play with them, make sure to turn down your volume a bit, because when I first fired them, I did not know that, and my ears hurt a lot. Trust me, they, it really hurts. Right, so just make sure you, uh, lower your volume whenever fly, uh, firing Aiden cannons, because those things are loud. Alright, now, I'm going to do a little fun, funny thing called anti-ship with my boy, Attendard, because apparently Harriers can't do that very well. F well, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, transition, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I, I didn't, uh, ah, alright, transition done, where's, where's the battleship, it's gone, he left while I was doing my transition, oh my god, my channel sucks, yeah, uh, guys, have fun with the Falklands update, I'm gonna leave it at here, um, test out the, Test, test out the attendard. It's gonna be fun. Um, yeah. If you're in the NFSX Discord, um, the roleplay is coming up. The Falklands update is coming up. So make sure to join that because it's gonna be really fun. All right. See you guys. And if you just want to take a little screenshot right here, ooh, that looks nice, huh? Oh yeah. Thumbnail. All right. See so yeah, ya guys, uh, like if you liked, uh, don't like if you didn't, subscribe if you want to, forgot how it goes, yeah, bye bye.